Welcome back to Genshin Impact with Minpack today with another account review. This is actually an account I've watched at in the past, and it's called Nahan. Alright, I was told this person has gotten him or herself a Kazuha, and as we can see, we have a boatload of elemental mastery. Which is good, is one of the two best builds, well, one of the two only builds that you can run. We have an R2 Iron Sting, which could be upgraded to R5 if we had uh, the other ones in reserve, if I can find them. If I can find them. I... I can't find them. <laughs> Where are they supposed to be? No, it's not here. It, ha it has to be here, right? Okay, whatever, I can't find it you can get some more swords by completing your weekly missions or weekly weekly bosses and uh, upgrade your elemental damage a little bit. You are running the Verdescent Peace, just what you should be doing, so that's great. We have a 3878, that is fine, since you are not really building damage, that's okay. 770 elemental mastery is a lot though, so you are going for full elemental mastery, which is not bad per se. Um, however, you should build your team around that if you're building it like so. You have a little bit of recharge, not a lot, only 111. I personally prefer this to be around 150, but if that works for you, that is fine. Uh, and we have 15% in damage bonus, which is also fine since elemental damage does not really increase your re reaction damage. So you are running a vaporize combo. I mean it works really well with the verdescent piece to well, get a lot of uh, uh, pyro resistance reduction and increase your damage with the vaporizes, sure. However, the thing is if you're running full uh, elemental mastery you usually want to run with uh, Hydro and Electro together, at least for the moment. I don't know if uh, Dendro is gonna have some impact to it, um, because this way you can only vaporize or swirl one of the elements uh, present. So you can either swirl Pyro or Hydro, but not both of them. So you are effectively reducing your damage you could be doing with the element. Um, which is not ideal, but you still get a lot of buffs for the Pyro team. So if you want to run something like this, I would change uh, it is out for a different one. Um, so what you probably would be running to make it ideal is something like this, maybe if you have, uh, you don't have Kokomi, which is unfortunate, and you only have one Hydro DPS, so that's rather unfortunate. So probably this one. So yeah, I think that that would be ideal. So you, you usually fight with your, with your Kaching, just make sure you get a lot of electrons in all the time. Um, but you want to make sure to get Kazu Burst on the Hydro trigger. Uh, well, no, actually no then you reduce the resistance to Hydro, but you want it on Electro. Uh, this could be a problem. Well, well, since you don't consume it, it should actually be fine. Let me test it real quick. I use this team for farming and comps. Well, uh, let me show you something. And we'll be, we'll be using this thing over here. Because with Hydro and Electro, you don't... Um, consume the element that's present the the two of them can coexist with each other so let me just let me just show it to you how it works oh i definitely noticed that lag <laughs> so if you can see now the two elements should coexist or did they change that they took it away you can't uh, have them both triggered or on the target at the same time anymore? Are you sh kidding me? When did they change that? Usually they are able to like have the Electro trigger on themselves and the Hydro. Or at least that's what uh, they were used to be. Because right now I should probably get hit by an Electro uh, thing. 
I'm just dodging way too much stuff. Okay, now I'm... Okay, it's not quite working anymore as I had intended or if I, as I remembered it. Like, usually you could have these two coexist and thereby swirl it. If I remember correctly, you were able to have them both at the same time, like have Electro and Hydro applied, and you could then swirl the two of them, meaning you could trigger swirl two times instead of one. Um, but if this is not lo no longer the case, it is quite bad. Um, but in that case, you can obviously go with your classical team, which is uh, this one. So you trigger more often, or you reduce the power resistance, and get more damage in with your vaporizers. In that case, your shunling would probably be your main DPS. No, it's recharge. Is it your Bennett? Is it C6 by chance? It is C0. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, have... you have only two piece bonus. Okay. But I don't really see you deal all that that much damage with this team, or you shouldn't be. I mean, maybe Shincho and Kazo are just broken enough to get your damage, but. This shouldn't be that much. Or maybe I just fucked up the timing all the time. Maybe that could also be the case. Let's just get in at one of the floors. It doesn't really matter which one it is. I just want to try out how much damage you actually deal with this team. Because I don't expect you to deal a lot, if I'm being honest. Yeah, that's not a lot of damage with your Shunling. Uh, this is also not ideal. I mean, you do still deal a fair amount of damage, but that's not because he is that strong this way, but rather because he is broken. I mean, sure, you can always do this and then your pirate damage is increased, but uh, usually these numbers should be higher. Let's actually try a different floor. If In your case, I would, if you want to run for Elemental Mastery, use it on your other characters. Like this way, you now you have um, Pyro increased. You can go with Shunling Burst and increase it further and uh, use Bennett to go even further again. But there are way easier options to do the same. So currently, if you're not running C6, eh, I'm not sure. I mean, your Shincho deals a lot of damage, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. Um, like the way you have it uh, in the other team now, I think is still better with Electro and Hydro. They don't consume them each other instantly, so you could potentially make use of that if you just make an attack which Shin uh, burst active while it's being Electro, uh, it has Electro applied from Fischl, and swirl it. Then you get a lot of apl applications at the same time, so that might uh, work out better, and you make more use of your Elemental Mastery. Since Elemental Mastery always consumes the uh, attribute or the, the element applied to it, and by this consumption deals damage. It doesn't deal any other damage, it just apply, uh, deals damage through the consumption of uh, elements. So, play around that a bit more. Using a Mono Pyro team is not terrible uh, with uh, Kazuo himself because of, uh, well, this. And I think he also had a talent which increased uh, some other things as well. Uh, yeah, not what I wanted. That one, I think, no. Anyhow, um, if you run a, a mono pyro team, for example, that works, but uh, at the moment with this team, don't do it. Get him C6 and then we can talk about it. But as it stands now, don't run him uh, for Elemental Mastery. If you want to run him with this team, run him full damage. Go for stats like 2200 attack, 250 crit damage with about 70% crit rate. Other than that, I wouldn't recommend. Or maybe you could do hybrid, that works too. Like 400-ish Elemental Mastery, about 150 crit damage. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. It won't deal any. Uh, it won't any deal. It won't deal any significant damage the way it is now. So, please make sure to understand the way the elemental mastery deals damage.
There will be coming in a video soon that explains this in a rather detailed way. So if you didn't quite catch it, how it's how it works with this simple or with this uh, rushed explanation, um, you should look or watch the upcoming video. Um, it will be next week that it comes out, probably around the end of next week. Um, but currently you are wasting your potential, at least on this team. I don't know, uh, like with this team, it should be better since you uh, apply Electro regularly and you can't swear that very often, that's good. Um, or with this team, if you want to apply more Hydro, since you are, you only have Barbara as an additional Hydro character, that would work as well. Uh, maybe you then want uh, Shanling in here. You don't have a healer then, uh, except for Shinsho's E, but maybe that would be more beneficial to you. Alright, uh, Nehan, I hope this was helpful to you. That has been it for today. I hope you liked the stream and um, join in next time, which will be next week. Bye-bye, and this has been Midpact. Bye-bye.